No, it's not enough. We need some more. Your turn. over the item to make sure you cover it well. Oh, it's not bad. I only, I only overestimated a little bit. So it's a tape seal and now it's just vacuuming out? Yeah. What that does is get rid of all, rid of all the air bubbles and the um, investment that you put in while you're mixing it. They call this boiling the investment. Doing that, it bursts all the bubbles that are on the surface. So then it'll just be the queen perfect stuff clinging to it? Yeah. Well, if the bubbles do remain on there, all you get is like a little, um, a little piece of silver the shape of a bubble. So, you know, you can't snip it off and it's not there anymore. I mean, it's, but it, makes it a lot easier if you have a lot of So how long do you do that for until it reaches Just a certain... a couple more minutes and that's it. You don't, you don't want to go too much because you can reverse it. What I do now is I leave this to um, set overnight because it's such a huge great glass. And then tomorrow, around noon, I start cooking. Yeah, you know, if it was a little small flask, mm -hmm. like a, like when you make a ring in, or you could basically cast it today if you want to put it in burn, burn it at, at start around noon. By five o'clock, you've got a ring. But this is so big. Yeah. You know, you're casting about 10, 12 ounces of metal. Why do you have it on the spring day? To jiggle. To jiggle it. To get all the bubbles. Yeah. yeah. Moves them. Yeah. That should be good enough. That's that. Now you just wait for it to set. So tomorrow at noon, part two. Yeah. Perfect. Put it in and start cooking it, and the next day we can cast it. And that is a process in itself. Ooh. Okay, there. It's set. Now we've got a Take the tape and the sprue base off to help the investment to get rid of as much water as we can before we put it in the oven. Okay. 